मॉर्निंग ऑल माय नेम इज बी संतोष कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्टाफ एरोनॉटिकल इंजीनियरिंग माय सब्जेक्ट इज कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर टुडे आई एम डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंटरप्स एंड इंटरप्ट साइकिल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग फॉर द प्रोग्राम इंटरप्ट द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन जस्ट डिस्क्राइब्ड इज रेफर्ड टू एज प्रोग्रामर कंट्रोल ट्रांसफर द कंप्यूटर कीप्स चेकिंग द फ्लैग बिट and when it finds it set it initiates an information transfer the difference of information flow rate between the computer and that of the input output device makes this type of transfer inefficient to see this why the inefficient consider computer that can be through an instruction cycle in 1 microsecond assume that the input output device can transfer information at a maximum rate of 10 characters per second so what is the interrupt and what is the interrupt cycle suppose any of the program i equal to 0 or i equal to 1 means interrupt is enabled so multi -pro multiple programs are uh, there we have to go for the interrupt so interrupt is nothing but it is the process of communication described referred to as program to control transfer so one program to another program to control transfer the computer keeps checking the flag bit and when it finds it set it initiates for the transfer so in the previous we we discussed i am taking as a 0 to 0 to 12 or 11 i am taking 12 to 14 and 15 is a flag bit so it is a flag bit 0 or 1 i am taking this is 1 and it is a address so it is a flag bit the flag bit is a flag equal to 0 or 1 so If zero or one, it will be depending on your pro interrupt. If flag equal to one, I am going for the interrupt. So the difference of information flow rate between the computer and that of the input output device makes this type of transfer inefficient. And the efficient to computer can be through an instruction cycle is one microsecond. So how much is time taking for the interrupt? Uh, initiating of the program instruction is one microsecond, and input output device can transfer the information at a maximum rate of ten characters per second. So, if I am taking any of the input output, input to output, what we are transferring input output, I need to transfer the data. So, how much data means ten characters. So, what is the time means one microsecond. so input to output i am sending one data so data is nothing but i am considering as it is a one instruction so one instruction input to output it is one instruction or in the form of data or in the form of 10 characters the time is one microsecond so this i am taking it is one assumption only so input output device to transfer the new at the maximum rate of 10 characters per second so this equivalent to one character every 100 Thousand of micro seconds. So previously we are taking ten characters is one microsecond, but here I am taking hundred so ten lakhs of microseconds means how many how much data is transferring? Data is transferring. That is instructions I need for this one. So. two instructions are executed when the computer checks the flag bit and it decides not to transfer the information so every two instructions are executed when the computer checks the flag bit so if flag bit equal to 0 or one flag equal to 0 or flag equal to one it will be depending on the values and the two instructions are executed at the time of computer it is a maximum and this means that the maximum rate of computer will checking the flag of 50000 or 5 lakhs or uh, Five lakhs times are there, so it is a hundred thousand. It is a fifty. So every two characters, one mi one microseconds will be considered for this one. And the computer is wasting time while checking the flag instead of doing some other useful processing task. So actually, what the computer will have to do means it is wasting time when checking the flag instead of doing some other useful processing task. So computer, what we have to check first means computer will check is it flag zero. or flag bar we have to check first after then it is going for the instead of doing the other useful processing task okay other means what is the other instructions are waiting for them instruction one instruction two instruction three but computer first we have to check what is the flag status after then going for the any of the other 
processing. But sometimes what will happen means computer will check not the flags. It will be checking the other uh, other useful other unusual or useful processing task except flag. So that is the reason it is ta taking more time. So that is the reason here I am taking fifty, but here I am taking hundred. Means every one time of it will it will take a double time, two times of time it is time wasting or time consuming. And an alternative to the programmer control procedure is to let the external device inform the computer when it is ready for the transfer. In the meantime, the computer can busy with other tasks. This time of transfer uses the interrupt facility. And while the computer is running a program, it does not check the flags. However, when a flag is set, the computer is momentarily interrupted from proceedings with the current program and it is informed of the fact that the flag has been set. The computer deviates momentarily from what is doing to take care of the input output transfer. It then returns to the current program to continue what is doing before the interrupter. So it is about the programmer control procedure. Programmer control procedure. So first we have to take external device to inform the computer when it is ready for the transfer. Meantime, the computer can be busy with other tasks. This type of transfer is the interrupt facility. Suppose I am taking one computer. This computer, I am connected one input, one output. Another input also connected. It is an input one and it is input two. So, is, suppose input one is a keyboard, input two is a printer, example. So, input one to output one is the process is going on, means the function is going on, means what are the inputs I given from keyboard, I am getting the output from the printer. So the uh, is it the working is going on as the file transfer is going on. Is it busy computer? Yes, it is a busy. Then I need to give another input to the computer. So what will happen? This is called interrupt facility. Interrupt means already one process is going on. It is in waiting state. So when we are calling computer is interrupt means multiple inputs are waiting and multiple outputs are waiting. So that is called interrupt. Suppose I have only one in, one input is there. I am getting only one output. Is it need of any interrupt? No. When interrupt means multiple tasks are generating. Multiple tasks means multiple inputs are waiting or multiple outputs are waiting. Then only I need interrupt. So if the computer is busy, then interrupt facility is enabled. Otherwise, no need of anything. So INT0 means no interrupt I need. INT1 equal to means I need an interrupt. When I need interrupt means multiple inputs and multiple outputs are waiting. So that is the reason. And while computer is running the program, it does not check the flags. When computer running the program means when I gave a program to the computer, it is executing. When it is executing or while running the program or when loading the program, it does not need to check the flags. And however, is flag is set, if I am setting the flag, but when the running of the program, it need to, it need not to check the flags. And the computer momentarily interrupted from proceedings with the current program and it is uniform to the fact that the flag has been sent. So when the flag is sent to the computer, then the current program is informed to the flag is that the current program is running. And the computer deviates momentarily from what it is doing to take care of the input output transfer and it is written to the current program to continue what it was doing before the interrupt. So, Suppose interrupt means multiple programs are there, I told already. So interrupt is enabled means what is the current program and what is the previous or next. So the computer deviates momentarily, take care of input output transfer when returns the current program to the continue what is the, uh, doing before the interrupt. So current and previous. So previous means when it was stopped. Current means when the interrupt is enabled. So, if the interrupt is enabled, it will leave the previous and it is going to the current. When it, interrupt is not there, there is no previous. What is the current program? That is only one, one program is running. So, there is no need of interrupt. Interrupt is enabled means the current program is there and what is the status of previ previous program also we need. <coughs> Data transfer to and from the peripherals may be handled in one of the three possible modes. 
programmed input output data transfer, interrupt initiated input output data transfer, direct memory, DMA data transfer. So, programmed input data transfer, result of an input output instruction, need CPU, continue monitoring, unnecessary uses of CPU. These are under programmed. And interrupt initiated input output data transfer. Upon occurrence of INDR means interrupt reduces unnecessary usage of CPU, direct memory access, DMA data transfer, no unnecessary usage of CPU, and input output processor monitors the data transfer, interface handling capability, and DMA. So, data transfer means data is transferring from input to output. Data transfer I am taking as a input to output. So, from data transfer to and from the peripherals may be handled one of the three possible of modes input to output I need to data transfer. So, first one is a programmable input output data transfer means result of an input output instruction, result of, uh, of a input output instruction. So, input output data transfer need instruction is yes, I need a instruction to transfer the data. So, what is the result of the instruction and need CPU to continue monitoring? We need a CPU, yes, I need a CPU to continue monitoring and unnecessary uses of CPU. So, unnecessary CPU means it will be time consuming and uh, more capability we need. So, interrupt initiated means, interrupt means multiple tasks are there in the in a computer. Then, upon occurrence of INDR, INDR means interrupt is enabled and reduces unnecessary use of CPU. When interrupt is came, then I will go for the unnecessary uses of CPU. Why? Because interrupt means multiple programs, multiple talks are waiting for me. And direct to memory access. Direct to memory means without the help of CPU, the directly data is transferring from input to output. Input to output. There is no need of CPU. No need of CPU. So, unnecessary uses of CPU, input output processor monitors the data transfer and interfacing handle capability of DMA. So, no usage. I don't want any CPU. Directly, I will communicate from input to output. Why? Because I don't want any ALUs, anything. Only input to output. Only keyboard to printer. Like this. So, input output processor monitors the data transfer and the interface handling capability of DMA. So, programmed input output interrupt input output and the third one is a DMA. So, these are the data transfers. So, program input output means program is running that means no interrupt. No interrupt. So, directly from input to output the data will be transferred. Interrupt means Interrupt means multiple tasks are there. Input 1 to input output 1, input 2 to output 2. Multiple tasks are waiting for me. And DMA means no need of CPU. So, here program input and interrupt I need, I need CPU for this one. Need CPU is must. But here no need of CPU, direct communication between input to output. So, these are the three types of data transfers, programmable input output data transfer, interrupt initiated input output data transfer, DMA, direct to memory access initiated input output data transfer. So, it is a block diagram of data transfer in CPU program input output operation. First of all, here CPU central processing unit input output device. So, CPU to input output device, what are the mediators between that one, data bus, address bus, and the control bus. So, here the control bus is a input output read, input output write. So, interfacings. What are the interfacing? What is the use of interfacing means? Between the CPU to input output devices, what are the connections we are connecting? Those are the interfacing between the input output to CPU. So, it is a CPU, I am taking input output. So, between the what are the connections are there? Those connections are considered as interface. This interface I need First one, data register. Second one, status register. So, data register means passing the data, memory of address register, memory of data register, like this. And status register, f equal to 0 or 1. So, 
between the input output to inference input output was data valid data accepted so first one i am giving the input output to cpu so i by o bus means input or output to cpu so cpu what it is considering cpu will accept input and giving the output okay is it clear yes so he, here input output means input is giving to the cpu how we are giving which through the bus okay interfacing will accept what is the input you are giving from input to cpu how we are giving that means through the data only it is possible as through the data i am passing from input to cpu is it data valid as yes, data valid so after getting the cpu the cpu will give the data return to the output so how it is giving means data accepted data valid means input to cpu and data valid means output from cpu to output that is a data accepted so it is a data bus from interfacing to cpu data address bus means address bus means vary from cpu to output cpu to output that is a address bus input output read input output write when read and write will be enabled means when i am giving the the user will give the information to the cpu that is a write operation when the cpu will give the information to the user that is a read suppose we have to uh, save a file to the cpu what we are calling that is a write operation i have to take the that file again from the cpu to user that is a read operation so input output read input output write data bus address bus and between the cpu to uh, uh, input output bus i need interfacing that is a data register status register in the form of f so data valid and a data accepted are in between the input output to the cpu so data transfer to and from the peripherals may be handled in one of the three possibilities programmed input output data transfer interrupt initiated input output data transfer direct to memory data transfer so first one read status register read means cpu to cpu to user from cpu read status means from cpu so check flag bit flag bit equal to 0 or 1 it will be check if it equal to 0 flag equal to 0 again it is going to the read operation if flag equal to 1 means data is enabled then read is read data transfer so is it read status register if it is 1 it is enabled if it is 0 it is disabled means again it is going back so read data register means it is equal to 0 means back data register is enabled means data is ready to give, passing the information that is a read data register and transfer data to memory transfer data to the memory from cpu to memory from cpu to memory shall we call is it read write operation means memory to cpu that is a write operation okay and the data transfer to the memory is it operation completed if s yes, continue with program if operation is not completed means again it is going back to the read status register and the check flag bit if equal to 1 it will give the output if it is not zero means again back to that one if flag equal to 1 read the data through the registers and the data is transferring to the memory from the cpu and operation is completed s yes, continue with program again new program if it is not means again going back to the program and reach that one the interrupt is enabled flip flop en interrupt enabled flip flop can be set and cleared with two instructions when en is cleared to zero with iof instruction the flag cannot interrupt the computer then en is set to one that is a ion instruction the computer can be interrupted these two instructions provide the programmer with the capability of making a decision as to whether or not to use the interrupt facility so interrupt enabled that is a interrupt enable ien can be set and clear with the two instructions so set and clear these are the two instructions of so ien is clear is equal to zero what will happen the flag cannot be interrupted that means no interrupt
i can equal to 1 that means interrupt enable okay i n equal to 0 i equal to 1 i n equal to 0 means it is a clear i n equal to 1 means it is a set operation set and clear operations it is about the interrupt enable and it is a flow chart of interrupt cycle first i am taking instruction cycle equal to 0 then it is a going for the fetch and decode and fetch decode and executing the program when instruction cycle equal to 0 when interrupt instruction cycle equal to 1 means it is called interrupt instruction cycle equal to 0 1 means interrupt is enabled interrupt means multiple programs that is a store return address and the program counter is the memory and the branch location 1 is tends to program counter and interrupt enabled equal to tends to 0 the register equal to 0 then we will get the output if in equal to 1 means we will not get the output why because another program is also waiting for us one so likely finally we are getting the flow chart of interrupt cycle it is the demonstration of interrupt cycle so i am taking first one is a memory before the interrupt and after the interrupt cycle so what is happening now we can see 0 to double one to 0 here here 0 to here and the program counter pc equal to here pc equal to 1 started and here pc equal to 256 so before the interrupt the program counter equal to 256 but when i going for the interrupt it is started when program counter equal to 1 it is started to pc equal to 1 so it is a main program so these are the references so today we discussed program interrupt program interrupt means how much time it will be taking from input to output and how much data will be transferring so 10 characters per second it is from an assumption and what is the time taking is 1 microsecond and it is equivalent to the every one character it will take the different uh, time for that one and uh, to are taking the alternate to the program control procedure and the interrupt facility means when the multiple programs are available then the interrupt is enabled otherwise no need of any interrupt is enabled so here only one input one output no need of any interrupt multiple inputs and multiple outputs are available then i am going for the interrupt facility and while the computer is running a program it does not check the flags so when there is no interrupt no need to check the flags if there is a, any interrupt is enabled then we have to check the flag then only we can executing the program and here data transfers are peripherals can be connected in three possible modes programmable input output in interrupt initiated input output direct memory access in the programmable input output result of an input output instruction need of cpu unnecessary usage of cpu interrupt initiated means upon occurrence of intr and reduces unnecessary uses of cpu so interrupt means definitely the cpu is burden so it reduces the unnecessary of cpu and interrupt is definitely we have to enable why because interrupt initiated if interrupt equal to zero means there is no interrupt initiated Direct memory access means no need of any CPU without the help of unnecessary uses of CPU and input output processor monitors the data transfer and interface handling capability and DMA. It is the data transfer in central processing unit with the programmed input output operation. CPU to input output device, data bus, address bus, input output read, input output write. So, I am connecting to the interfacing data register and a status register. So, CPU to input output device, we need, we need the interfacing as yes, we need the interfacing for the data transfer between the input to output, data valid and data accepted. So, CPU to output, that is the read operation, but input to CPU means definitely we go for the write operation. And the data transfers are three possibilities between the CPU to input output, program or input output, interrupt initiated input output, direct to memory access data transfer. So when I'm going for the read condition, read status register, if it equal to one, that means flag equal to one, the data will be transferred. If flag equal to zero means there is no data transfer. Why? Because the read status register is disabled. After flag equal to one, read the data and transfer the data to the memory. And when operation is completed, to continue the new program. 
and the data will not be transfer means again it is going back to the starting and will not continue continue the what is the stop loop program it will be continue and the interrupt enabled flip flop ien can be set as cleared with two instructions set and clear when it will be set condition and when it is clear condition when ien is cleared to zero when the i will instruction the flag cannot be interrupt of the computer when ien interrupt is enabled then it is cleared to zero ien equal to zero ien equal to zero and ien equal to one interrupt enabled equal to zero ien means interrupt enabled zero means clear clear interrupt means set condition means interrupt is enabled then i am going for the enable means we have to go for the multiple programs ready for multiple programs ien equal to zero means clear means there is no programs are waiting for cpu so that is the two conditions so set and clear that means ien equal to zero and ien equal to one these two instructions provide the programmer with the capability of making a decision as to whether or not to use the interrupt facility so it is about the instruction cycle input to output so when the instruction cycle equal to zero it is going for the fetch decode and execute the program when interrupt enabled equal to zero interrupt enabled equal to zero means clear there is clear option means directly it is going this one when interrupt enabled equal to one it is going for the set condition set means flag equal to zero no flag equal to zero means there is no interrupt direct option so if flag equal to one means some some programs are waiting for me again it is going for the register or and again then going to the output instruction cycle equal to zero instruction cycle to one instruction cycle equal to zero means fetch decode and execute instruction cycle equal to one means interrupt cycle enabled store and return function add program counter ir all all should be enabled but what is condition means interrupt enable equal to zero when interrupt cycle equal to one so it is a functionality of flow chart of interrupt cycle and it is about the memory before the interrupt and after the interrupt so before the interrupt it is the here there is no nothing is there but here i am taking from 256 why because here already program counter is set to 256 after the interrupt the program counter is starting from pc equal to 1 means another program is waiting so uh, previous is up to 256 and the present equal to pc equal to 1 so is it uh, is it any difference yes here there is no value but here the value is 256 in the memory address so it is the before interrupt and after interrupt okay thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates